and welcome back to Ultimate Arms. Today we're going to be reviewing the Browning AB3 or the A Bolt 3. The A Bolt 3 retails for around $650 US or $900 Canadian or the classic black walnut version, such as this one here. Now you can get them chambered in 243 Winchester, 7 mil 08 Remington, 308 Winchester, 270 Winchester Short Magnum, 300 Winchester Short Magnum, 270 Winchester, 30 odd 6, and a whole lot more. Now this rifle weighs in around six and a half pounds, so it is a quite light hunting rifle. First, let's talk about the accuracy. The biggest part that everybody wants to know is how accurate this hunting rifle is. Well, for one thing, it is not a precision rifle. So our expectations for accuracy, you know, I mean, theoretically, it doesn't need to be more than a half away MOA. Even one or even two MOA is sufficient to be able to hit your deer at one to 200 yards easily. Now, how accurate is it? Well, this one, you know, the best group that it was able to do was below one MOA. So theoretically, it's a good rifle, especially at this price point. So let's go over the accuracy from the worst to the best. And don't forget to like and subscribe today. Now let's get back to the review. So first we did the Hornady Superformance Rounds. Now that was a 1.61 group. Next, we went to the Federal 140 grain Hybrid Rounds. That was a 1.16 group, not too bad. Then we went to the Federal 140 grain Gold Rounds. That was a 1.11 MOA grouping. Then we went to the S&B 142 grain Hollow Point Bow Tails. Finally broke, you know, sub MOA. That was a 0.982 grouping. Then we went to the Hornady 140 grain ELD match rounds. That was a 0.884 grouping. And the best for last was the Nosler 140 grain match rounds. That was a 0.873 grouping. So it will do sub MOA. So this rifle shot a 1.09 MOA group on average, which is still pretty you know, good shooting for a hunting rifle. If I would have had a 140 three grain hunting rounds instead of using uh, Hornady 120 grain Superformance rounds, it probably would have broken sub MOA. But even still, this rifle was very consistent and very accurate throughout many different brands of match ammunition. So if you want something that's got really good odds of shooting most things accurately, Browning can do that quite well. Now in this video, we were also using the Sunway Photo T4040 CS tripod. Now this is a full carbon fiber tripod with an Arca rail adapter on the top of it. You can also get it with the SM86 saddle mount option on top or the SM76 saddle mount on top. You can find these at CDN Precision. I'll leave a link in the description box below with a discount code for you to use. Really great tripod for either hunting or PRS shooting. Now let's get back to the review. Next, let's talk about the barrel action. So the barrel on this rifle is a 22 inch, one and eight inch twist barrel. It's very simple. Uh, it's not threaded. Uh, there's no fluting on it. It's a pencil thin barrel. It's not a super pencil thin barrel, but it is a pencil thin barrel. Uh, it doesn't come with a rail. So you're gonna to have to buy your own rail, which kind of blows, you know, especially for the price that they are. It doesn't even come with a two-piece rail. So the action isn't really the smoothest action. It's not totally bad either. You know, it's still pretty smooth compared to other rifles that I've had. There's no like zipping sound, like, you know, a zipper sound to it. It's not, it doesn't bind up like, um, other rifles I've tried. It's actually not bad. It's a pretty average smooth bolt action on it. It works pretty good. So it's not bad. Reliability, you know, wasn't bad either. It was pretty consistent. It works really well. I was actually kind of surprised with it being just a plain Jane hunting rifle. So there wasn't really any issues of any kind with this rifle at all. You know, the action is not particularly smooth, but it does do the job. Um, it's a lot better than, say, the Ruger American Predator that I've, I found that to have a really zippery sound to it. 
this one feels maybe a little bit better uh, maybe you have a little bit better fit and finish on this bolt also the bolt knob itself um, it is on more of an angle it's a little swept back it's about a 60 degree bolt throw on itself which is really nice um, I had no problems on the lift or anything like that it actually works really well I like this bit of an angle on the bolt so you can put your hand right here and gets back really nice next the trigger so the trigger on this is not adjustable it breaks between four four and a quarter pounds it there is no adjustment to it whatsoever you know unlike say the Ruger American it is a fully adjustable trigger you know the Savage Access was even adjustable uh, the 783 was an adjustable trigger so I don't understand why um, they wouldn't make this an adjustable trigger when the other rifles are a lot cheaper so why they didn't do that I don't know but it is a heavy trigger I don't mind a heavy trigger especially when I'm deer hunting I can live with it but I would have liked to seen them put an adjustable trigger now this trigger is a plastic trigger uh, the trigger guards plastic the whole nine yards is plastic now it breaks nice and crisp I did find that I had no issues with that this gun is safe by the way but having a fully like there's no give being a plastic trigger it breaks right there there's no creep on it I didn't find anything wrong with the trigger whatsoever for being a plastic trigger it actually is really nice and crisp I'm actually surprised with this trigger so I have no issues with the trigger now the mag on the other hand the mag it's not full plastic uh, it's plastic on the front on the bottom the rest of it is metal it goes in okay as we can see right here it goes in nice but say if you're out deer hunting in the winter time or in the fall and you're wearing gloves it's a recessed mag release on it so you might have trouble getting your finger into it but if you're just shooting with no gloves it goes in really nice I did find that I had a couple problems with cycling rounds um, on it. I found they didn't sit perfect, but what I did like is the fact that you could just push them right down inside. Uh, if you're shooting one at a time, it doesn't like to feed the rounds one at a time. That could be an issue, but other than that, the mag works. Next in terms of aftermarket support, um, if you want to change out the trigger, uh, because you find it just too heavy personally I don't find it to be a heavy trigger for deer hunting um, some people prefer a lighter trigger it doesn't bother me all that much I know you can buy trigger springs aftermarket trigger springs for it Macabo sells them uh, replacement springs other places sell you know different springs in that for triggers and it's going to cost you about 20 bucks maybe a little more depending on where you get them from now the stock. Browning is one of the companies with the least amount of aftermarket options from pretty much all of the other companies out there. Other than maybe Norinco um, or Boyd's or anybody like that, you're not going to find too many stocks from any other aftermarket company when it comes to Browning stocks. Now this stock is actually bedded, so it is a free floated barrel. Um, it it doesn't touch on either side of the stock. You can see the space in between. It actually shoots, you know, it's a nice stock. The stock does come with uh, two sling eyelets on the back. It's got a nice soft butt plate on the back end of it, which is really nice. I would have liked to seen it a little bit higher on the, for the cheek weld or something like that. But all in all, it's not a bad, bad stock. It's got good diamond pattern checkering on the forestock. It's got good diamond pattern checking on the grip itself where your hand's gonna slip. It's gonna work really well, really well. The safety at the same time is just a single stage safety. It's not that bad at all. It's not a bad hunting rifle for the price. Lastly, in terms of warranty, Browning has nothing really written down on their website and from I've been looking at around on the forums online apparently there is a five-year warranty on their rifles you know I mean I can't really tell you anything about it 
Uh, there isn't too many people um, uh, saying anything about their warranty service or anything like that. So, you know, it could be a good thing if you don't need a warranty and no one's complaining about their rifles, then obviously their rifles are holding up over time, which is a pretty good sign. So there you go, guys. There's my review of the Browning AB3 hunting rifle. Great little budget hunting rifle. Um, it's not too heavy, not too light. It shoots one MOA grouping. I think it's a really good rifle, especially in black walnut. I always did like a wooden stock. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please consider hitting the like button. Um, consider hitting subscribe. I have a full list of budget-friendly hunting rifles if you'd like to check them out. And we'll see you next time at Ultimate Arms. Bye for now.